started pulling the old Cobra apart. So far, all I've gotten is the, the handle threaded off and the shifter cover off. You can see it's been apart before. It's got a short throw shifter in it. Um, so I'm gonna change the transmission. Hopefully I got the right transmission for it. And it's a smooth process. So there I go, I'm gonna get started. Alright. See, so this might be a little take a little longer than it should. I haven't done one of these in a while. I'm trying to get you some somewhat of a decent decent view here, I guess. I like that. Somebody went into some extreme craftiness here on this boot. I like it. But they definitely took some time to do it. I don't even think I need to do that. I'll just unbolt it, pull the whole damn thing out, be done with it. Not real sure what they got going on there and why. Alright. Let's try this one. It's gotta be better, right? At least I would think so. Stiff. Here we go. And then naturally that one's not even in. But that bitch right there is hot as hell. It just burnt the crap out of me. Get it unhooked over the ship over there. We'll pull it off. The old shift row is coming out. And I dropped the bolt. Alright. I'm going to spray these bolts down with some WD-40 since it hasn't been apart in a long time. I don't even know what all ones to spray yet, but we're just going to spray them.
and it really has been a while since this thing's been apart so make something happen here Ooh. Oh, wow, look at there. That stuff dripping all over the place. Let that drip a little bit. Get ready to pull this thing out. Maybe, hopefully. I do believe this is the factory transmission in this. I don't think it's ever had a transmission put in it. And the transmission is actually really clean. As is the car, really. Since I changed one of these, but we're gonna let them uh, let them bolt soak and go from there. Get the exhaust off of it, pop this transmission out. I think all I got to do is just slide it out. I don't have to mess with any of this stuff. All right, I got most of them broke broke loose, just messing around. Um, I don't know if you can see me there. There we go. I got most of it broke loose there. I imagine the ones that aren't broke loose yet will probably break, but I don't know. This thing hasn't been apart in years. And you can see it's got the Mac Pro chamber and um Flowmaster mufflers. With tailpipes. Here's that. This one right here is giving fits. like for this to not break. That one's a different size. Huh. I think that top one's a different size. Of course, the same size and this one's the wrong size. Just spin in there. Have to get another socket. Okay, sorry for the 
video or lack of, but the exhaust was giving me some shit. I got pissed off and I just broke the stud off on that one. Tried to break those two off, but they ended up breaking loose and coming out. So I got one stud to put in. Um, the transmission is pull the drive shaft out, take that one's loose, take these two bolts out, um, slide the cross member bolts here out. And so what uh, we got harness one, two, three, four, five bolts, and then the drive shaft back here. Get the drive shaft out and uh, we are ready to swap transmissions. Flop this one out. The other one's a lot dirtier. Yeah, I'll show you. The other transmission's a lot dirtier, but it's supposed to be good. I got this thing years ago and it's just sat here. So, but there it is. It's supposed to be good and that's what we're gonna put in as long as everything is right. Um, I'm not real sure. I don't remember what the difference is in a Fox body and a SN car transmission is, but I'll set this one next to it and see what we got going on. So there we have it. I'm gonna knock the drive shaft out of it and pull this thing out. There we go. Uh, then went ahead and pulled it on out. It actually, as far as getting it out, wasn't that bad. Drive shaft was a little rough, but uh, everything else come apart pretty good. I think the exhaust was the worst part of it. And here's the transmission out of it. Rather clean, if you ask me. I just, honestly, I tore it up. Um, so, we get that dirty one maybe cleaned up a little bit and put back in, hopefully it's good. Pulled this out of the hole. So, needs a speedometer gear. Makes sense um, on why the speedometer didn't work. So, got that to fix. I already ordered the gear. Just, it's gonna be a few days before it gets here, so. I'm gonna go ahead and put it together with this one and clean that nasty thing up and get it back in. So here we go, here we go, here we go. We're gonna sh in the driveway, scrubbing the transmission. To clean it up. With some simple green. I ain't used the mag wheel cleaner yet, but I figure we'll see what it does here in a minute. Get as much as I can off this. Unless this cleans it up good, then I'll just run it. Somewhat cleaned up. Cleaned up a lot better than I thought, really. I could have cleaned it a lot more, but let's be real. We don't even know if it's any good yet. But we about to find out. Definitely about to find out.
see if we can see some of the fluid color here. There you go. That's what come out of the transmission that's in it. A lot of metal in there. And we are back in. Got the drive shaft in. Just gotta tighten the bolts, get the exhaust on it, and fill it with fluid. Put two lines on it. I don't trust it. You said you don't trust. I don't trust it. I've done it. And like shit moves and at least this way whenever we tack it we'll be able to see it move because it's gonna move. Cut the tape out of the way. Yeah. You want me to open it? You wanna open it? I don't wanna give you my bad luck. Jesus Christ. I look a pile to sharpen that first. That motherfucker ain't cutting me. So we're trying to make headers for this turbo um, and I'm not a header builder so I'm probably going to do a lot of shit wrong and we're probably going to do a lot of shit wrong but we'll get it and we're trying. I've seen an orange, I've seen I think people an orange build, the head, build headers but it's like it's slip fit header kits and these aren't at all slip fit nothing.
here first. Let's get this done first. Making patch panels. And then we'll make that I work. guess is the idea here. You like it? Mm, don't want to beat on the car. I'm sure he won't approve of that, so we'll find something else to beat on. <laughs> You're pushing on the tube there, Bubba. Whoa. I'm grinding down all Big the hole. parts for the firewall to fix up and then all the pie cuts to on the exhaust. Trying to get them all cleaned up for him so he can weld them all up and get the headers together. Had a good ground that time. We're good there. Uh huh? It's good there, yeah. So that honestly should probably hold the rest of it together if it's a good tack. <laughs> you got two on the top. Yeah. I can put a little bit bigger one here because it's pretty small. You want to pull that tape back? No, I can just go on this side of it. Like you can pull the tape off now. Should be able to, honestly, right? Yeah. You just put one right here? Yeah. Why not? Heard you wouldn't. <laughs> I got that part tacked up, you know what I mean? If I haven't finished that header, pull it apart and weld it back together. Ain't nothing his fault ever. Mm. Well, no. He said, well, no. But no. Of course not. Not CJ and my other button. But no. Whoa, dog. Whoa, whoa, fucking whoa. Whoa, fucking whoa. <laughs> Cobbling some shit together. Trying to finger it out. Build a turbo car, they said. Yeah. Build a turbo car. You'll be drinking foo foo drinks with umbrellas in them and wearing sandals in the pits. You Not get changing bored spark and plugs. Check your lug nuts just to do something to the car, they say. This is won't be changing spark plugs. Spark, spark plug who? <laughs> Here we are, asshole deep in a turbo car. And not having a clue of what we're doing. <laughs> we got not one person here that's turbo inclined. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, ta dum Aha. Not to pull out water. I remember. Closer. I'm gonna finish Otis's job over here. <laughs> what? I couldn't hear you. What was that? No, seriously, what? Still a little hot. Told you. Ain't nobody in there listening to fucking CJ. My god, that looks fucking perfect. Son of a bitch. fighting patch panels for sure shit wants to pull nothing's cut straight don't blame all that on CJ though I'm gonna bring this in you put it right here at my finger one on one side one on the other
just like right there. Yeah. So I'm going to see if the my pipe bender will do me any good with these things, I guess. So hopefully I'm going to try to expand it to make everything slip fit. That way I don't have to keep taping this shit and it moving on me and everything. I need a sharpie. Something on my hip. See how many times I have to do this before I get it right? I need to let it relax that way because I need room right here. That's kind of about how it's going to be. I need to... Well, so I got to try to get this one over some because I need room to get... Can I get another tube? That will let me get this over and through here. Seems quiet here. So, what are you looking for? Huh? What were you looking for? I'm... Whenever I was driving, I drove it to KD 
it seemed like the longer I drove it, like whenever I would turn, it would feel like the rear end would do a shutter. I don't know if the the posi unit's trying to lock up or what the deal is. Um, and it was making like, I guess it would be something loose noise. But, so I'm trying to find something loose, <laughs> basically. And even, I'm looking at control arm bolts or the spacers, bushings, anything showing any kind of movement. I'm not seeing anything. I don't know. Everything's tight. I don't know, but while the rear ends up, you might as well see if the speedometer works right. No guarantees, but it does have the new screwdriver gear in it, so hopefully that's the problem. I'm gonna let it down just a little bit and see that window tint's peeling off. So Caleb's gonna come put new tint on. Okay. Here we go. digging on that but anyway a lot of people is asking about a price on it and there's still some stuff that I want to do to it before I feel that it's it's fit to go anywhere and uh, we don't have a whole lot of details we dang sure don't have enough to really put it out there but we are gonna raffle the car off so once I get speedometer working get tires on it get windows tinted, get things fixed, make it road worthy and safe for, for whoever wins it. Uh, I believe we're gonna raffle it off. So all that's interested, stay tuned and follow along with it. Um, and we'll see how far it goes.